everybody. So I wanted to come to you today with a quick and easy recipe with the basic things that you have in your kitchen that you can use to help you stay on a raw diet so we can be raw together because I'm trying to stay raw. So I took a recipe from Dara DuVernay and I modified it to make it my own to show that everything doesn't have to be exactly the way that other people do it. You can do it with the basic things that you have in your kitchen and it's better to be partially raw and trying to stay raw than not being raw at all. So having said that, let's get started. We are going to make a variation of um, kelp noodles in peanut sauce. So you want to add two cups of soaked peanuts, but I didn't have peanuts so we're going to use almonds. I think it may work out just as well. I don't know, so we're going to see how it turns out. You also want to add a whole jalapeno pepper. Um, you can cut it up if you're using your food processor or whatever, but I didn't, so put that in there whole. And I um, some ginger. I can't tell you how much. I just broke off some ginger that I had, and I uh, took off the out, outer part of it. I'm going to put that in there, and then we're going to come over here. And we are going to add... I don't have Nama Shoyu, but I do have um, Tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce. So we're going to add in a quarter cup of Tamari. This is going to be for the peanut sauce, which I think is going to be really, really nice. But this is going to be like an almond sauce. And you want to use a quarter cup of cold-pressed olive oil. a little bit more than a quarter of a cup just to make sure then you want to use four tablespoons of honey and a trick that I learned um, if you're going to be using raw honey got this from Sprout as you know that it comes it's kind of like waxy inside it's a little bit hard so it's sort of like if you're using any nut butters, if you just run your spoon under really hot water and get it nice and hot, which wasn't really hot, hot as you can, then when you dip it in the honey, it sort of goes through easier. That wasn't as hot as I would have liked it to have been. I'm trying to go quickly, so it's one. Three, it's not really half. Yeah. Sort of sticky, it won't come out. And I'll save that spoon for my tea later. All right. Added in the ginger, added in the jalapeno pepper. This is the juice from two lemons from my garden. So it's almost about a cup. It's over here. Add that in. Garlic powder, organic garlic powder. I can't tell you how much. I'm gonna try about half a tablespoon. And onion powder, same, organic, and can't tell you how much. I'm going to do about a half a quarter of a tablespoon, quarter, quarter tablespoon, something like that. We'll try it, and I'll let you know like if it is too much or too little. I'm also using uh, dried chopped onions, a little bit. Can't tell you how much, just go to taste. And garlic, probably better to use, um, actually use uh, fresh garlic cloves, which I don't have any in the house. So I'm just going to use a little bit of what I have. And that's about a teaspoon. Once you have that all combined, I'm going to come over to your food processor. 
Okay. And that should be good. I want to try it because you want to remember um, from everything that I have learned, and remember I'm new at this as well, but everything that I have learned, you want to taste as you go when you're working with raw food because the taste that you have now is the taste that you're going to end up with. But in this particular recipe, when you add the sauce on top of the kelp noodles and the greens that you have, the flavor sort of um, gets uh, diminished. So you want it to be, you want to have a nice rich balance of flavors. Um, nice. Really, really nice. What I am going to do is, for my taste buds, I'm going to add a little bit more of the tamari. I don't know, about another quarter cup. A bit more salt. Tiny, tiny bit more of the honey. Because again, you want it to really pop, pop your lid back up. On. Okay, so. that you want. Um, you may want to use arugula, you may want to use um, lettuce, you may use whatever you have in your house. Again, this is a variation on a standard recipe, but you know, you don't want to not do something if you don't have the proper ingredients, you can make substitutions. So what I did is I cut up um, uh, romaine lettuce, the tops of romaine lettuce, and put it here, and I also added some fresh cilantro and put it in there. You can add some things to add some color in there. If you want to use some bell peppers or whatever you want to make it your own recipe. Because it's all about experimentation here and trying out different things. And forgot the most important part is the kelp noodles. And the kelp noodles, you want to open up. This is just one pack, because I'm not making a very large uh, batch of this. The kelp noodles, you want to take and put in a bowl of water. I put them in a bowl of water, enough to cover the noodles. I also um, put in um, two teaspoons of salt, and then the juice of two fresh lemons. And I left it there so that they can soak all day. And if you can oh, the sauce is going to be very thick and so you kind of get it out that way so and that's okay because once you add it to your noodles and it's going to become a, a bit more watery and um, you're going to be able to, to work with it a bit more and after this you want to make sure your hands are washed and you're just going to mix it together like this. Okay, so I have a plate of um, greens already prepared that I just wanted to make like a, a bit on a nice bed of greens and we're going to go ahead and try it and see how it is, how it came out. Big mouthful here. It's really good. It has a nice balance of flavors. A little bit tangy, a little bit sweet, and it's just absolutely perfect. And you wouldn't know that I substituted the peanuts for almond. Worked out just well, and um, it looks lovely, it tastes lovely, and thanks for coming with me on this adventure, and I'll see you next time with more Wholesome Living. Thanks. Bye.